<laughs> yeah, because we still well, need more. Do we have an idea of what percentage we have received or how many we have? Oh received? yeah, we've received a lot. We just our LMI is not where it should be uh, yet. Um, our positive is that we could go to back to the tech school because it's a whole new batch of students, and because we have a real water joining us now, we can yeah. um, survey them also. I'm just trying to get that. I'm trying to be poor, then you know, get our yeah. you know, for <laughs> we income It's a good down. bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because we're we're still above. So yeah, if a, if a family of ten moves in, we want their survey quickly, <laughs> and that's what gets us. It's those one persons does not move our percentage up near as fast as our. So if somebody person. new moves in, do we send out a survey the first as soon as they move in? Or, I mean, no, we probably do we know, don't. How do we know if when we they get an updated book from um, regional planning? Okay. Um, Shelley would really like to get that list. She really wants it. She's chopping it. Yeah, I think it's a good point. Do we ask them when they sign up for it. services? Do we ask them to fill out the survey? Right, because obviously the original surveys were sent out early summer, and you know, obviously we don't want people who've already filled them out receiving another one for right. an estate reason. Right. Is, and we have, I mean, like Shelly and I have a list. We don't see the numbers, right, right. but we have a list of who's filled it out and who hasn't. We just don't have the very updated one, okay. but. Um, and I and I still see people, and I'm like, hey, here's a survey, because I know who's done it and who hasn't. So um, they still trickle. But well, I'm all it's for definitely a push. trickle. I'm just sort of wondering, sure, how yeah. long we're thinking this is yeah. going to go on. Long time. It's something we're going to have to figure out and probably do another push for people. It's going to be a yeah. critical component for paying. Right. Obviously. Heather, do we have a list of those that haven't turned in a survey? I do. Can we send out another letter to them requesting mm -hmm. them to get that survey? Mm -hmm. turn we in? sure can. Sure can. I, mean, I'm just mm -hmm. I know. Yeah. I figured I'd hit the tech school and we'd go to real water um, first because that'll be our push. But on that list, especially those big family people, I see them and I talk to them and get them to fill it out. We're moving forward. If uh, real water district number three comes in, we can use their LMI. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. And, and that, that helps. would probably be a big help too. Huge. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Thank you for your efforts. Yes. On that. Yes. Thank of you. Of course. I understand. <laughs> um, it's not like a linking issue. I haven't done anything because I don't even follow up. Okay. <laughs> Cemetery kiosk. And I followed up with Lynn. So hopefully that'll be coming here soon. Um, I did meet I, with Vicki Mears up at the Little Red Schoolhouse. I took a bunch of pictures and kind of, I think the first thing we need to do is just find out num some basic numbers so then we even have something to make a decision with. And obviously it's an it's kind of, I think it's on the precipice <laughs> of really going downhill quick or somebody's going to have to shoot some money into it. I know that I think Rotary was interested, you know, so, but again, I think we need dollars, figures to know what we're dealing with. Um, Just to confirm, yeah. so based on your conversations, their goal would be to move it? No, or I don't think so. I okay. think really their ultimate goal is preservation. I think Jay's idea was, hey, what's the smartest way to do this? And it's just an idea. Okay. And I, think, I think it's worth exploring, but you know, there's probably several different options, but there's the front entryway, there's a big hole in it. You walk on the back for the lean to, and it's, I kind of pushed around before I kept going. Um, the back roof on that lean to is sagging pretty good. You know, we're on front of a lot of snow, and it's going to be a problem. Uh, you can really see a dip in it. And then just the paint, the windows, I mean, the roof, the faucet, you know, it's all to the point where it's, if we don't do something here pretty quick, it's going to have trouble. Um, so I think it's just a whole vision. Of yep. I, I'd really like what you're doing. I would really like to know what the purpose is of the Little Red School. Life. Correct. I, I would too. I mean, because it used to be years ago, the Little Red Schoolhouse was open on a seasonal basis. Sure. And there were, quote, school barns that went up there and would be there for the little kids. Yeah. Well, I think the boys ran out of school barns or anybody that wasn't sure. up there. So it's now the area. building is sitting there. The only occupants of that building are equipment, et cetera, that's owned by the Pratchett County Museum. And we're sitting there with the building that the city owns. It's falling apart. It's falling down, so what can we do? Sure. Yeah, I, I think that's just it. In, in, in going through it, it is really interesting. The only thing I could equate it to was now up in Iowa, we have what they call like the Little Brown Church. It's a little brown church. You know, so it's kind of a famous little chapel. It was just always open. Now again, I'm sure it had a way to lock it at certain times, and everything was pretty much bolted down or you know encased or whatever. So you can sit there and read a little bit of history, just a few blurbs, and kind of like this building stuff. There's just a few too many loose things there, and some really interesting things. I can see the roadside attraction; people can buzz in there and 
well, that's what they used to do. Flip through the little flip things, see the history of it, but there's some loose things that could walk away that are probably pretty valuable, lamps, et cetera, that we kind of need to figure out. So I think between, you know, some easy cameras and a door that, you know, I mean, I can do everything with my phone on an app that you could probably lock that sucker at certain times and it can be open, you know, as long as this stuff is kind of available. So that's just ideas I had in my mind. And Vicky was like, oh, that's kind of interesting, you know, so. So especially if you're gonna keep it there, it's kind of a roadside attraction. It might point people to where the historical society actually is, you know, and say, oh, well, then I'll go over there. You know, so that was just an idea if we did keep it there, but and that's all I want to, that's why I want to explore and bring back some ideas for you. Um, code enforcement officer update, you know, basically we're in the midst of the interview process. I kind of, Jay and I kind of, kind of were in the middle of that, both of us. So you know, I've interviewed another person. It's really a tough position to find the right person. So. I don't have any news for you here, but hopefully the next council meeting I might still have a recommendation for you if we need to get that filled. Um, we have met with uh, the, the, the boroughs mm -hmm. uh, on the farm uh, lease update, so we'll have some more information on you know, that so we kind of figure out some of the pieces. Matt, yeah. um, on the code enforcement officer, are we going to keep that as one position or are we going to divide it into two? That's what I'm trying to figure out. In my, yeah, I don't know. Again, it's kind of I'm under the gun because Chris is, wants to retire. <laughs> But I also want to make the right decision too. So I, after tonight, now I'm probably really going to focus on that, try to figure out what's the best solution because it's it's, it's an important position, but it's one of those that we're trying to make this guy be a, a jack of all trades. Um, and I don't know if that works, if that's the best thing or works the best if we have the right, if we have manpower in other places that can take that up or not, you know, so I don't know the answer to that, Matt. What happens in the interim? Let's say you haven't found the right person and he retired. Chris said he'd say until the end of November. He'd say an extra month. <laughs> but I'm, I'm just saying, if, if we do run into that situation where we haven't found the right applicant, and sure, Chris has said, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm good, do we have something in place temporarily even to be able yeah. to cover his responsibility? I don't. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> on the code enforcement side, for sure. I mean, I have done that before, you know, or dabbled in it. <laughs> um, but uh, and I think it hits us at the right time of year if, if, if it has to happen. And Chris has said he's willing, he just has to wait 90 days because of capers before he can come back on kind of a consult or part-time basis type scenario. Uh, I guess that's that's what he told me anyways, um, which could be accurate, I don't know. But so, so yeah, so then, you know, by that time we might have somebody hired and that's when building and a lot of stuff's coming back online. But the building code, really, you know, uh, scared me the most as far as what we would, I don't know if there's other communities around here that have that in place or not that we can partner with or not. So that's kind of this week I need to figure that out. So any other questions on that? I'm almost done. So, yeah, so the farm lease will have more information for that. We're getting it all designed and, and appropriate. Um, chip ceiling is happening, so there's 40 blocks that are going to happen. So Click has got that rolling now. And I think the 10th Street's about done. I think they're just working on kind of the, the intersection, and that will be finally finished. Um, Highway 14, by the end of the, of the month, or October, excuse me, or almost October already. We're already in October. Um, so hopefully that'll that'll happen. We can start on the next project. Um, I just been here for a little while and I already find it very annoying. So I'm excited about being open. It's like my apartment. I'm like, it'll be good to get the NCK. Yeah. Truck back on.